Art reflects life, but it also stimulates us to think. Watching the young people today, with the ideas they had about what the art was saying to them, it was interesting. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to the men. You all ready to have some fun today? Yeah! Come on, gang. They want us to keep going. Come on. Somebody tell me what that costume was from when? 1920. 1920s. Okay, right. When, what did we call that, the people? Flappers. In the... Flappers. Flappers. Good. This shows you that art doesn't necessarily have to be a pottery or porcelain or paintings, that it can be done in cloth or in many other different techniques. Is that, is that Andy Warhol? No, I don't think that's Andy Warhol. My favorite thing that, that I saw was the big wall with all the stuff behind it reflecting to make different colors. What do y'all see? You know what I see, which is really crazy? It looks like the top of Texas to me. What it tells us is that we can all see something different in a painting, right? It really goes back to people like your mothers. There are a group of women that thought we need to have an art museum. You want to come back again? Yeah! Now I'm going to make y'all a member. And to do that, I'm going to give each one of you a badge here. Well, now I've given you all your membership. You're all members. I want you to come back and bring your family and your friends for the next 80 years. Well, I'd like to add my congratulations to the men on 80 years of service to the community, and I wish you 80 more. <laughs>